cheating husband while pregnant. Long story short, I found my husband with multiple phones which was the way he was communicating with his bitch. Every time he would get got caught. He apologized never showed me what was in the phone. He always said it's just a friend all we do is talk that's it. I'm a mom. I work from home. Cook. Clean. Wash. Etc. Do everything for my kids. Yet you want to talk to someone else. Sex is amazing. Our conversation are the best. We love sports share so many things in common. Like what can possibly go wrong. I got pregnant because it was something we wanted for a very long time. Something we talked about. We found out we were expecting twins. We were both so excited and I we joyed. Also complete schooled. So I yet again find another phone he unblocked in front of me when he deleted everything. I saw the code he put and kept an eye out. I'm sure he mentioned he got caught with the phone again because the girl never called or messaged that phone. Because of the stress. Naked pictures I found of her sending him my first trimester was non-stop. Bleeding and lost one of the babies. I went into depression I couldn't help but blame him for it. I found a way to move on and get back to my life for my kids. I just couldn't believe all this was happening to me. Last week I knew something wasn't right. Shit just wasn't adding up. Going out with his friends to drink occasionally was always normal until he was coming home later and was taking longer to get home. I looked for the phone everywhere as he was in the shower and found it in his car. I quickly ran inside. Locked myself in the restroom. I was able to unlock the phone with the password I had seen. My heart dropped I chalked up in disbelief and began to cry. I couldn't believe what I was reading nor seeing. Saying I love you I can't wait to be with you and see you. He was legit having an affair for the past 5-6 months. Seeing naked pictures of them in the hotels. Pictures they've exchanged. Reading how he was going to leave me when I had the baby. The worst part was she got pregnant and had an abortion. I couldn't even gather myself up. Everything I knew was. Happening I was seeing with my own eyes. This girl is 8 years younger. I have a big ass. And she went and had hers done. I just couldn't believe what I was seeing how was I going to confront him. Our kids were at school and he was getting ready to go to work. He asked where I was going. I told him I just couldn't do this that I knew he was lying to me about her. He said why? Why do you think that? Did you find the phone? I promise you it's nothing. I said I didn't even know you had the phone. I left and sent all pictures to myself then sent to him. I said just friends. Get the duck out my house he wouldn't stop calling and apologizing for what he did. There were no words because he knew he got caught there was no denying what I had seen and he had done. I managed to gather myself up and drive home. He apologized. Kneeled and said he couldn't believe he hurt me this way etc. That he wished I never saw everything I did. I messaged the bitch I didn't get much out of her but left it clear that I would reach out to her husband and duck her life up like she did with. Mine. I haven't done so. I really want to just walk away from all this I've been with my husband for 16 years. I just don't know what to do. He has been different of course. I track out phones and location yet when he was with her he would always turn it off. I feel if he never got caught would he had put an end to this or continued to go with it until I did have the baby. Then divorce me. Sorry for my sloppy writing and run on sentence. I have a very similar story as yours I'd like to share. I saw my wife on a date with a local cop. Everything I am describing took place about a year and a half ago. I was married to my wife for 11 years and we have a son together. We both work full time. And have generally busy lives. So I mostly saw her during the weekends. I work as a software sales representative for a medium sized company. And this often has me traveling around town to meet with clients. The cop involved is actually someone I've dealt with before. He's one of those officers who gets a kick out of bending the rules and harassing people. I saw him frequently hanging out with his partner on their night shift at our local 24 hour store. And he was always giving people a hard time for really no reason. One day I was working and I needed to meet with somebody about a potential deal. My wife told me earlier that she was running errands and would be out until the evening. I've heard this many times before so it makes me wonder how many dates there were. Anyways, I drove 50 minutes to get to the restaurant we agreed to go to. As I pulled up, I saw my wife's car. It had damage from an earlier accident. So I recognized it right away. I went inside to look for her. And there she is right with officer asshole by the bar. He wasn't in uniform but I knew his face. They couldn't see me so I just looked at them in disbelief while he had his arm around her and was feeling her up. 
I of course went up to my wife and questioned her. But I couldn't get any real answers out of her and she left quickly. I had to cancel my meeting and I rushed home. When I got back we started arguing and at times I was at a loss for words. Instead of apologizing she lashed out and called me every name in the book. She primarily complained that she was tired of sleeping with me and needed a change. This really got under my skin because I have some health conditions that hurt my sexual function. I have erectile dysfunction and issues with my prostate. So even when I do get it up, I usually can't last long. It started in my 40s. It is a real issue but I wish we could have talked about it instead. We decided there was no coming back from this. And started the divorce process. I'll spare you the details but it was very painful. I did get custody of my son though which was fantastic. Since the divorce I've been single and have been looking for ways to heal my conditions and to improve my sex skills. I've been reading a lot of forums about sexual health and picked up many ideas. If these are unfamiliar to you, I suggest you look into them. I've been doing kegels and RKs reverse kegels for erection quality and orgasm control. I like to throw a few RKs and back kegels while I edge to stimulate the pelvic floor muscle more. I get a weird pain when I throw too many back RKs though so those are limited. As far as positioning goes, I learned a couple new styles that are supposed to be very effective. One really stood out to me. If you get dick deep while your partner is cock squatting it's supposed to allow you to use more of your penis that's hidden behind the layer of pubic fat we all have the weight of your partner in this position naturally pushes the pad in. I really like to work her mouth too but looking back I think I asked for blowjobs too much and didn't give enough head. I want to be a more thoughtful partner and it's something I'll keep in mind for the future. If anyone here has a lot of sexual experience or has dealt with these conditions, any advice would be appreciated. My goal is to get back into a healthy relationship. Just break up with them. He'll share this year as well. About 2 years ago I 26 dated my ex 27 for 6 years and I thought things were amazing. We had gotten back from our first cross country vacation and we were happy. But at the same time, there was something in the back of my head saying something was off. That Sunday he had tickets to see a show. While he showered something compelled me to check his phone. He has 3 roommates. Two are a couple and one is his female best friend of two years. I scrolled through his messages with her for a bit. After finding nothing, I looked up my name and found a series of messages saying I hate lying to her. I am hurting her and she doesn't even know. I keep thinking with my dick. I don't know why I'm doing this. I couldn't process it. I knew it was her that he was cheating on me with. And as soon as I found the message that confirmed that it was her. I felt so ducking stupid. No wonder she avoided me never talked to me. After he showered I lied and asked I had a dream where you admitted to me that you were cheating on me. Are you? To see if he would tell me the truth. He said no. I repeatedly asked him. And he repeatedly said no. We left his apartment. Got in his car. And I told him that I read the messages. After that he finally admitted it. I asked him every question I could think of and each. Answer was worse than the last. But we still went to the show. We still got food after. All the while I was dead inside and he was broken. I made him call her and tell her that he will never drive her to work again. Never talk to her. And that he was moving first chance he got. I was clawing for some semblance of control for my old life because nothing was the same after I found those messages. He cried next to me and told me he has been trying to admit it for a long time but was scared to lose me. I call bullshit on that but we he knew once I found out that this was it. Like. I still loved him. And cared about him. But there is no way that I can forgive this. I gave him everything. And never once faltered in my faith for him because he had never given me a reason to. But for two years he was repeatedly cheating on me and didn't say anything. Throughout our relationship I made him promise me that if he were to do something like this. Just tell me before it starts. It will be easier in the long run. And he couldn't even ducking do that. Four days after I found out. I met with him on my lunch break to break up with him to his face. He was my rock. He has helped me with the most devastating things in my life and is a huge reason why I am still alive today. But this is something that I cannot forgive. According to him they had stopped hooking up. In large part because she had a boyfriend around the time that we broke up. They had sex once earlier that year because she was in between boyfriends and they were drunk and in their feelings. It just makes me sick. I was planning the rest of my life with him. I was planning our future together. Where we will live. Children. Our careers. Everything. And so was he. 
while he was harboring this secret. I am still hurt two years later, and don't know how I will ever trust anyone romantically ever again. I don't know how I will ever feel secure in a relationship ever again. I have friends that I hook up and play with now, but I'm closed off emotionally and don't see that changing anytime soon. Most of my questions didn't get answered because he didn't couldn't answer it properly because he couldn't remember some stuff. It's been a long time. I do not want to be in a relationship with him. I don't care to make amends. His apologies mean nothing to me because I learned that he had been lying to me for a large portion of our relationship. But I still never got closure. I never got a reason why he cheated on me. And because of that my anxious mind has looked for reasons as to why it was my fault he cheated on me. Even though logically I know that I didn't do anything to deserve that. Not even my worst enemy can disrespect me to the extreme that he has. Hit like. If you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing to our channel.